Film Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do this light sweeping across your text letters effect. So we are going to start by creating a new composite shot. And this composite shot will only be five seconds long because the effect is only five seconds long. I'm going to click on new layer, create a new text. And I want to make the text the width of my project, which is 1920. And we'll leave the height at 400. Click OK. I'm going to click on this A icon, which is the text tool. And I am going to type in my text, which coincidentally enough will be Hit Film Sensei. Uh, what I'm going to do is highlight the text. And then under the text tab, I'm going to make a few modifications. First, I'm going to center align it. And then also, I'm going to make it much bigger so that it basically covers the entire screen. OK. Now I want to create some movement and some three dimensions and things like that. So I'm going to start by creating some movement. I'm going to twirl open the uh, new text properties under transform. What I want to do is I want to keyframe the scale. I'm going to break the link and I'm going to make this start at 90. So it's a little narrower. I'm going to go to the end of the composite shot by clicking the end key. And then I'm going to expand it to about 105 so that it over time, it just sort of grows out like this, just creating a little bit of dynamic movement there. OK, all right. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and duplicate it. And this I'm going to rename by hitting my F2 key. I'm going to rename uh, light sweep because this is where the light sweep will actually happen. Now I'm going to move this and get rid of it for the time being. So I'm just going to raise the position of it above and off the screen. We'll, we'll come back to that later. But first, I want to do a little bit more with this text. So I'm going to, under the Effects tab, search for the Parallax effect. And I'm going to drag that on. And those of you who are fans of my channel have seen me do this before. I'm going to twirl this open and I'm going to ramp that up to 200, which is the max. And I'm going to invert it. So it sort of creates a three dimensional look to it. OK, uh, then I'm going to add a new light source and it's going to want to add a camera. And I'm going to say yes. And now the light is sitting right above it, which looks pretty cool. I'm actually going to twirl open the light properties and change the intensity to about 50. OK, make it a little darker uh, and then again, just for um, kind of a 3D dynamic, we're going to change the position of this. So the position is going to start here and then I get to about two and a half seconds and I'm just going to bring the light forward enough so that it exposes all of the letters. So it's sort of like that. OK, so now and let me turn off the crosshairs by hitting this floor plane icon. If I back up and I do a RAM preview, it looks like this. Yeah, that looks good. OK, so now we're going to add back in the light sweeping effect. I'm going to come to the three second mark and I'm going to find the light sweep and I'm going to re zero out the Y position here to bring it back in. So now you can see if I toggle it on and off, it is just sitting on top of that. And that's what I want. So there's a lot of ways to do this. This, I think, is probably the simplest way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a mask, a rectangular mask. So I'm going to select that tool to that sweep effect. And I'm just going to cross it in a vertical fashion this way. Uh, under that mask, I will twirl it open. And under Transform Properties, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit, maybe that way. I'll reposition it so that it's about where I want it. Under the shape properties, I will go ahead and feather that. And I'm going to say I want about 50 pixels worth of feather, just enough, uh, you know, to kind of smooth it out. Um, and now all I have to do is just slide the position of it, you see, across to make that happen. So I'm going to start it over here. And I'm going to keyframe that. And then I'm just going to move forward to the three and a half second mark or three seconds and 15 frames and then I'm going to move the sweep to the other side and there you go so now if I button everything up let's do a RAM preview and see what it looks like so there you go if you have any questions leave them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching
If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.